Mm-hmm. And I find them myself all the time. You will find new spells that you use all the time. You were going to say something, Chris? Yeah, we had a little nasty surprise uh, a couple days ago when we were doing uh, Ogushan Vaults and we were trying to go for one of the achievements. And I was the only one there as a healer. So I have to keep going into the Shadow Realm and feel wondering if I could, you know, hot them up before we go in. And they took away re- uh, they took away regen from Disc Priests, so we have no hots anymore. Anyone know what their hot is for a priest? Renew. Renew. There we go. Have you read your Renew spell? I don't have Renew. It's gone. That's what I said, but they my hot and all, all priests. Renew all it this. But I have it on my Shadow Priest. They took it away from Holy Priests or um, Dis Priest. Holy has it. Holy has it. Holy still well, has that it. that Shadow has it. Dave, don't so you play sex, this? I don't see it. Shadow form to use it. Mm. Uh, it's two now. Wow. Can I sidetrack for a hot sec? Sure. What's um, up? Add-ons are you guys using? Excellent question. I don't use one at all. But I know other people do. Speak up. Um, some people use helium. Uh, I've used helium on my pally healer before. I don't use it. I don't prefer it on my priest. On my priest, my holy priest, I just have a Z Pearl, which is an old, uh, a newer version of X Pearl, which are, is a raid frame. It's not necessarily an add on for healing. It's just a raid frame modification. Um, Healbot, I think, was another um, add on that people have used. Yeah, Merdania Sage. And contrary to popular belief, it is not botting. I mean, it's not like. It's not like you're actually sitting there and you don't have to do anything or mash any buttons to heal anything. I, it, in the in the traditional sense of a bot, it's not something that you set up and then you don't have to do anything. It does it all. I wish it would change the name from Healbot to something else because I've had people get mad at me thinking that I was using something that was going to be botting because and it's and it's just like with, with like Voodoo or some of the rest of them, you actually have to mash the button. Else the only one I've ever used is really DBM, DBM recount. And I have some add-ons helping me find um, rare errors, but other than that... So they took my renew out and I didn't know it. My, my, my. Yeah. I guess that's because I use my shadow to kill myself. Uh-uh. Yeah, I, I use helium for healing because I like being able to, because it'll put everybody into the groups. Because the, the main group heal that I have is, oh, what's it called? Prayer of Healing. That works on a group basis, so it'll heal, uh, it'll heal the target and everybody in their group. Uh, Can you so link that? That's the main one that I use. What? Can you link it to the raid? I want to read that. I got pulled out of my spellbook. Hold on. Okie doke. It says a powerful prayer heals the friendly target's party members within 30 yards for such yeah, and such amount. It's the main group yeah, healer, it's healing um, spell for priests. Oh, I didn't know that meant just. I mean, I've never played this priest much, but I never realized that that meant just people in your five-man party. I thought it just meant anybody around. It was in your... Whether well, it, it's, right or it's either your five-man party or if you target somebody else, their five-man party. Uh, that's <laughs> why in a previous uh, raid I was asking, could you please put certain people in certain groups when I'm healing? Mm-hmm. Like, put me in a group or take me out of a group? Because otherwise, prayer of healing is more or less effective depending on the groups that I'm in. Mm. I haven't tried this priest healing since Kata, so I didn't know anything about it. I hadn't looked at the spells that much. So, LaCrista, what I'd advise if you're going to use Prayer of Healing is know not only who's in your group, but who's in the other group. 
just keep one person in mind from that other group because if you do need to heal the other group easily, you'll know who to target. And then yeah. you're effective through the, the whole raid. Yeah, that's, uh, well, as long as I'm not in a giant, like, 25-man group or 40-group thing. Because with helium, I could, it'll show me a block of names. So I could see, uh-oh, this whole block is getting low. Start, you know, spamming the prayer of healing on them. Because it shows me everybody's name with the health bar. Okay. Do, I think we have a video of helium in use. Um, if I it used to be on our forums, if not, I can dig it out and put it back up. Um. So, Chris, do you use prayer mending also? Uh, yeah, usually when I'm just trying to put something on a tank. I used it a lot more before, but then they put a cast time on it. And I know I sound like a whiny death knight <laughs> from, from the, when their spells were changed, but uh, it's used... Uh, I usually use it if I have a chance to stop and don't need to cast anything and can and I see someone who could probably use it. Uh, it gets a little too random when it starts bouncing around and gets lost on people, but throwing it on the tank every once in a while when I have a chance to stop and don't need to heal, usually I just stack up the tanks right at the start of the fight with it. Right, because I was curious because it has a shorter cast time than prior healing. Prayer healing, in, at least in mine, is 2.09 seconds, and the prayer mending is 1.26. And the bounce yeah, is they, fine. Those are, two different, bounce. those are two different spells, though. One's a group heal, the other's a bouncing shield, essentially. Yeah. It sits on a character, and then when they take damage... It, it's not effective on some fights when you get like all the f damage is focused on the tank. Because then it gets bounced over to somebody else. If if it gets bounced to the other tank, great. But if it bounces to a DPS, then it can go wasted. It doesn't say anything about being a shield, though. It just says it heals them. It it is a lesser shield heal than the other one does. Um, but it does it does bounce when the player takes damage. Oh, oh prayer of mending. Yeah, the pretty bouncy light thing. Yeah, it only heals when the uh, tune takes damage and then it bounces to another one. There is a glyph that changes it... Well, there was a glyph, I don't know if they changed that. To make it so it only switched between the healer and the person you cast it on. Well, that could be moderately mm -hmm. useful. That might be Let a substitute for when they took Binding Heal away. I have Binding Heal. Focused Mending. They took Binding Heal You too. still have Binding Heal. Yeah. Here it is. Glyph of Focused Mending causes your Prayer of Mending to only bounce between the target and the caster. Exclusive with prayer, glyph, glyph of Prayer of Mending. And that one... The other glyph... Uh, um, the first charge heals for an additional 60%, but you get one fewer charge on your Prayer of Mending. Frankly, the Focus one would be better. Yeah, that's more if the yeah that'd be useful. That would uh, that's the kind of thing that would be useful. Like you remember when we were doing um, Nefarian, and you were off tanking and I was following you. Uh, then it would be bouncing back between us and as opposed to possibly getting thrown off to somebody else in in the main group. They would help keep us alive. Yeah, if a small group had to detach in a raid, that would definitely be a more useful version of it. I'm that kind of a control freak too, Chris. I like to know where my heels are going and why. And most of us are priests this time. <laughs> Very cool. Well, I can go grab dry neck if you want. No, it's or okay. actually I can grab Totembo. It, it doesn't, you don't have to be on that specific healer. You're the brain behind the character. So, I mean, knowing. We're going to be getting together to get tomorrow are. night for people who can't make it tonight. Great. You can bring a different healer tomorrow night if you want to. Mostly it's just a spell review tonight. Go through your spells and take a look. Make sure you know what all of them are. Really sucks that you don't have a hot. I can't believe that they overlooked that. 
I don't think they did. No, because the um. purpose of the priest or discipline is to put up the uh, power word shield, and that's basically a hot because it prevents about the same amount of damage as a hot would heal in the same duration. It's just you have to be proactive and shield before the damage in order to be efficient with it, as opposed to a hot where you heal after they take or as they take it. That's been a discipline thing. Is their big thing is shield absorbing before they take damage. And on my priest, I really like the ability uh, Clarity of Will, just because it's an extra shield. Even though it's a pretty high mana cost, it's just an extra shield, and I like putting that up on tanks, especially before a pull, just because it uh, you can only shield a pretty good chunk of uh, damage. I believe it stacks. Possibly. Ooh, yeah, can the, I uh... see that? Sorry, I learn a lot that's when you guys a, link spells. That's a talent, though. It's a level 100 talent. I'm, no, I, I won't be able to see it. I don't have a disc pad. Uh, clarity of Will, Shield Strike with Protective Ward, absorbing 6-4-K. Yeah, so that can the other two. an extra shield back combined with uh, Power Word Shield to provide... I'm not sure what Power Word Shield does now, but probably around 50, 60,000 damage shield. So all these shields are like anti-hots? Like the other side of them? Yeah, pretty much. You use them before... Like if, say we knew that a boss was casting a big AoE ability in 10 seconds. A Disc Priest would then start Power Word Shielding and Clarity of Will on as many people as they can to prevent as much of that damage as they can before it ever happened. Which is why the Malakrog so... battle fight isn't bad for or disc priests. They're already doing absorbs. Yeah. Yep. All the shields are turned over. <laughs> yeah. All heals are turned into shields anyway. And the real thing is, you then you get that phase where you need to just heal up everybody. You're at a bit of disadvantage because trying to heal people, that's a big mana burn for a disc priest. You're, it, it's mostly about putting a shield on them and then like us using things like atonement to get a little bit of extra healing to make up for when the shield fails and then hoping that you don't need to go through your big expensive heals too much while well, in managing evangelism and archangel and that yeah disc is really really focused towards a single target healing or preventing group damage they're not as good for the straight group healing without burning through all their mana, as you said. So, Chris, when you get assigned to somebody who has a spot heals, like Stapes, and if you know that person, I know that uh, you guys don't always know who your co-healer is going to be, but if you know that person and you know it's a druid, you can call for Iron Bark. That helps us uh, give a little bit of extra mitigation. Is Iron Bark uh Yeah, I'm not familiar with Druid healing. Uh is Iron Bark on a cooldown like is it, is it that's a cooldown one? Yeah, it's, it's a similar to cooldown. Bark skin. Except you can cast it on someone else. Yep. Yeah, cuz it it sounds like my pain suppression. It knocks uh knocks damage down by 40%, but it's a 3 minute cooldown. So um have us cast ours, then you cast yours, then us cast ours. And you've got three of them. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's something. Thank you, Ian. Now that I know you don't have a hot, I mean, I can really understand why you'd be frustrated <laughs> with that. I'm bummed that they took your spell away. Yeah, I know I liked it because it could also trigger Divine Aegis once in a while. Are there any other places where you're feeling like things got weakened? Because I heard Disc Priest got woefully treated this time around. Just overall, it's... Uh, they uh, they just don't want us like going for the heavy heals. 
for the most part is about using your shields. Uh, it's like sometimes they're worried that in certain cases we're just too overpowered. Although, unless you're really good, I don't see that. I mean, we're tough, but... Like, we're really good at keeping, like, one ourselves and one other person alive. That's usually what we excel at. Yep, that's why we put you on tanks. And a druid on spots. Or a shaman. Uh, I think, like, the biggest nerf that I've noticed is to our output DPS. Because when we're a tone healing, we're normally we do like equal amounts of DPS and healing. But with the shift of all the numbers, the thing I notice most is that my DPS has gone to crap. Like this. I know they back in like when... The, the DPS, yeah. or they can nerf atonement because they didn't want this priest using that as their primary healing method anymore. They wanted to force uh, actual yeah. heals to be cast more. Mm-hmm. Really yeah, but it was also like... liked atonement. Yeah, so in challenge when they were doing challenge modes for Mr. Pandaria, mostly uh, uh, the number one priest uh, healer that was used was a disc priest because you're trying to get through that as fast as possible, and if your healer can do DPS, you know, a combination DPS heal, it's better than a plain healer. And there have been times where I had to dot things up and. You know, help out with that too. Versatile healers are good. And I don't mean that versatility crap they put on everything. So, the Stapes come to pretty much all the raids? I notice for a couple of them now he's been partnered with you. 